Hi, YouTube. This reading is for April the 16th to April the 31st. This is Born with a Veil at Yahoo.com. If you'd like to know more about my readings, you can email me. So, this reading, April 16th to the April the 31st, you got to choose a direction that you want to go in. Which relationship? How do you, which way do you want to go? You might be dating one people, one, three, four, six. Who knows with Capricorn? But you got to figure out which person that you want to be with. This goes for male, female, bi, gay, straight, whatever, whoever. You got to figure out which one you want to be with. Because you might have 10 different things that you want from a person and you're dating 20 people. You see what I'm saying? So you got to figure out, you got to go by the heart. You got to go by their mind. You got to go the way they treat you. You can't go by what comes out of their mouth because people lie so much. Uh, Capricorn. So you really have to choose the direction that you want to go in. And you also got to choose which career path do you want to take? Do you want this new job offer? Don't you want this new job offer? Because you got to remember the money is good, but then you're putting in more hours. You have no time for your loved ones, no time for dating, no time for shit. So you got to think about it. Is less money better where you have more time for yourself? Or is more money better for you and you get to do all these extravagant things but you don't get to spend time with your loved one or your family's wife husband boyfriend girlfriend whoever it may be now the next one is success that goes in with the employment you're successful at everything that you do capricorn uh some of capricorns can be a little lazy but the majority of you are pretty smart um you go for what you want now, if you're a cross watcher and you're with a Capricorn, you know what I'm talking about. Would you please, if this resonates with you, this video, please give me thumbs up and please share and leave a comment. Thank you. So within the next few weeks, wow, Capricorn Spirit's really talking here. <laughs> within the next few weeks, there's going to be some changes with your, with your uh, job. That's some of you got, that's where the choose a new direction comes in. Um... And your relationships. So some of you are going to be breaking up. Some of you are going to be making up. Some of you are going to be moving on. Because this is the springtime. And that's when you break up or you make up. The next card is trust. Capricorns, you have trust issues. And people have trust issues with you also. Cross watchers, if you agree, give thumbs up. Um, when somebody scorns a Capricorn, which you are an earth sign... It's very hard with an earth sign. Once you lie to them, that shit is crazy. We just don't believe you anymore. We'll go, uh-huh, uh-uh, uh-huh. You got to look for signs. If you've been manifesting and you want to know what's best for you career-wise or relationship-wise, you got to look for the signs. A lot of you pray and don't even look for the signs. It could be looking right in your face and you don't even pay attention. A lot of you need inspiration. A lot of you are down at this time. Um, some of you are depressed Capricorns. You don't know which way to turn, but your angels are with you at all times. All you have to do is ask for them. Some of you Capricorns need clarity. Like I say, once again, you don't know which direction to go to in your life. But you have to meditate. You have to put meditating music on. You can find it on YouTube. And you could have little waterfalls going, sound of water. And turn all the lights off. Light some candles and sit a, sit in a Buddha style or take a sea salt bath and manifest and pray. And ask the angels to give you clarity. If you just listen, you will find it. Believe me. Angels of faith. The angels are telling you, look Capricorn, you got to have faith. You don't have enough faith within yourself, within the relationship or relationships, your jobs, whatever it is, family, whatever you're doing. Some of you don't have enough faith. Capricorns, uh, once you make that decision in spring and summer, because the flowers are blooming, you know, within that relationship, who you choose, you're going to be very happy with the person that you choose. But some of you, it's going to be very hard because you, you're juggling, you're juggling more than one or two. Adventure. Some of you that have children, you're going to be going on adventure. You're going to be going to Disneyland. You're going to be going to California. You're going to be going out west. Um going down south for family reunions this summer. Um, you're going to have a good time. Now, 
Some of you Capricorn, you women, you feel like superwoman. I mean, you're married, you're juggling it all. You're the taxi, you're the cook, you're the housekeeper, you're the maid. Oh, my God. It's your superwoman. You're doing the damn thing. And the men, too. Some of you are stay-at-home moms. I give you credit, too. You cook, you clean. Uh, the wife wants to work. Uh, you may work from home or you don't want to work at this time. You'd rather let your wife would rather get away from everything and let her work and you take over the duties, which is a great thing. Uh, Capricorns, you have to some decisions you're going to have to make. Once again, with money, some of you are buying homes. You don't know if this is the good time to buy homes because in retrograde is not a good time to make decisions. Um, there's going to be another recession like it was in 2008 that will be coming up. Uh, not too long. Um, so Capricorn, start saving your money, banking your money. I'm serious because the world is so funny now. Since Obama's out, the world is so funny right about now. And you have got to be careful in everything that you do. Make sure your health insurance is going. Make sure your bills are caught up to date. Don't slack on your bills. Um Make sure money is going in for college funds. I mean, make sure your car payments are on time. Don't slack because you got to stay equal on all of your bills. Seriously. Positive. Got to think positive. Think positive, uh, Capricorns, because earth signs have a hard time with that positivity. You're ready to shine. You're ready to make that adjustment in your life. You're ready to settle down. You're ready to get married. You're ready to have children. Um, you're ready to come out of the closet. Some of you might be bisexual or gay, and this is what I'm picking up, and a lot of you have been hiding in the closet for a while. You don't know how to do it. Just come out and say it, but when you come out and say it, make sure that's what you want to say because some families can't accept that, but if you have a loving family that does, there's nothing that you should worry about. A year from now, some of you will be married. Uh, you're, some of you will get engaged the springtime, summer, and next by next year you will be uh, you will be uh, married and in your own place. Some of you are going to be moving out of your parents' house too. Some of you are re you're going to reconsider. What are we going to reconsider? Whatever you're re reconsidering, it's unlikely at this time that's going to happen because some of you have been manifesting. Um. But the answer will come yes to whatever you've been praying for or manifesting within the next few months. That manifestation that you've been praying on. Maybe you're looking for a man or woman. Maybe you're trying to get that house built. Uh, you want to go to college. You haven't decided what college you want to go to. Um, it could be anything that you manifest. But for unlikely, for right now it's not. But then it will. And then within the next few months it's going to happen for you. After that happens, new beginnings are happening. The doors are going to open. If some of you are in a bad situation, you need to close that door so your new beginnings. Because usually when you hold on to toxic people, toxic relationship, toxic bullshit, period, the doors are going to stay closed. And the angels in the other side don't want you to live in a toxic situation. Balance. You're going to have to start balancing your work and your home life. As you see, balance your home, your time, your money. <laughs> You know, your relationships, your children, um, you're going to have to balance it. It's going to be a struggle, but you're going to do it. Comfort. Some of you Capricorns are very comfortable in the situation that you're in, and that's good. Some of you don't want to make a decision, and that's good. If you don't want to make a decision, you won't make a decision. But big happy changes are coming after you make that decision, Capricorn. I'm telling you, it's coming. Some of you, please get your health checked. This is for entertainment purposes only, but I've been doing this 57 years, and I know what I see, and I say that in all my videos. Get your checkups. If you haven't had the checkups, get your breast exams, your colons uh, checked. Uh, if you got headaches, go for those. Blood pressure, sugar, or if you know of a loved one that needs it, or if you're deciding to put your loved one in a nursing home, think about that. You might want to do the home health care at home. Um, or your parents are, are sick at this time and you're running and working and you're trying to juggle everything at once, maybe think about a, a CNA or get a caregiver or somebody that can help you out. And your last card is past issues. Get rid of that past shit. Get rid of the past issues. Do everything that you can to make yourself happy, Capricorn, because it's going to turn out okay. Thank you for coming into my room. This is Born with a Veil, and God bless you.